Hello everybody, this is the Mothership here, and today I'm showing you how to get a custom Counter-Strike Global Offensive CSGO Crosshair. So, uh, a lot of tutorials on this are actually pretty confusing, and I decided to make one that wouldn't be as confusing, hopefully. Tell me what you think below, and this should take about 7 minutes. Um, really pretty simple thing to understand, you just gotta be good at typing, occasionally. Uh, a little bit tedious, but not that bad, truly. So, first thing you're going to do is go to CSGO crosshair dot dat host do no just dat host dot net that link will be in the description um very quick to get to if you just want to type it out now that'll take you to this page where you see you'll have a little green uh crosshair not very good uh hard to see no dot in the middle to show you where you're gonna headshot someone at um so first thing you might do if you want a dot is click that and if I actually clicked it stop Okay, there you go. Uh, you can add a dot. My computer just decided to murder itself, so let's see. Uh, second, thickness. Um, I usually like my thickness around 1.5. Uh, pretty easy to see, maybe a little lower than that even. Alright, size is going to make your lines longer. So if you want to be aiming like this and pretend like you're in a sniper the entire time, you can. Um, don't cry to me when you get killed by everyone you see because you can't see them behind your crosshair. Uh, I suggest three, four. Gap, going to make a wider gap between your uh, dot and your lines, or just between your lines if you don't have a dot. I enjoy negative 20 or 20, there's not much of a difference between them. Um, actually, seven or negative 20. Uh, it just mirrors it, so don't worry about it if you're in a negative or a positive. It's just a little more typing. Uh, here you can see are the RGB sliders. If you're not good at sliding red and green and blue and you totally mess everything up, just click on yellow or green. Um, or blue or cyan if you want. I, I really prefer green and yellow because the maps are somewhat post-apocalyptically dull, it seems. So, uh, I like yellow, or my current one I believe is green, so let's just go with green in this one. It's probably easier for you guys to see. There we go. And uh, once you get that, you can look at it on different surfaces, check out the CTs, killing some Ts, Ts doing vice versa. And once you're perfectly happy with it, so pause the video if you're not perfectly happy with it yet, which you really should not be, and uh, take... A notepad document all right um I'll open one of those up in a second but you're gonna copy all of this so just take control a and then copy or control C up to you uh, you can be a noob and if your control a isn't working for some reason just do this take all that and put it in a notepad document okay so once you have copied that you can go into your desktop Create a new text document, label it whatever you want, and now open that. I have to open it because my computer decides to murder itself when I try to open it otherwise. And paste it. So now you have this. It'll be really easily accessible. Um, you can drag it all the way. You can probably make it a little smaller. And uh, now that you've got this, you're going to want to launch up CSGO. All right, now that you've launched up CSGO, click on Options and go to Video Settings. That'll take you to the page that I am at right here. And uh, you're probably in full screen by default. So just click on Windowed and hit Apply, and you'll be good. I'm not going to hit Apply. Oh, uh, yes, OK. I'm not going to hit Apply because I'm already in Windowed. And uh, now we're ready to type in what we need to type in. Okay, so now that you've got this windowed, drag it over to the side a little bit and uh, look for a squiggly key on your keyboard. It's going to be below the escape key on my keyboard, at least above the tab key and to the left of the one key. So if you search any of those three locations, you should find this squiggly key with an accent thing under it. So when you press that, you get this window right here. And this window will help you in that you can type everything into it. And uh, don't worry, I won't do the whole typing thing. I'll fast forward that very, very quickly. Uh, but when 
you are typing, don't include the quotations. So you'll see it says CL underscore crosshair alpha space quotation 200 quotation. Uh, don't type the quotes, just uh, after alpha space 200. And type each one in, and at the end you can hit submit or hit enter after typing each line. So between crosshair alpha 200 and crosshair color 1, hit return. Um, here, yeah, I'll type it real quick. Um, so go through every single one of those. Make sure you get the underscores. Um, if you mess up, it doesn't matter. You just do the command again, uh, and it'll overwrite what you previously did. So if you put for crosshair color B, 800, I think that'd be invalid, but 200, say. Uh, you could just go back and do crosshair color B, 50. So there you'll see what it looks like when it uh, successfully completes it. CL underscore crosshair alpha 200. It just puts the text in gray and leaves it there for you. And that means that you did it successfully. Uh, after you've done all these, uh, you can, if you don't like how the cursor looks, you don't have to go back to the site to edit it. You can uh, just edit it right here inside. And if you're good with uh, RBG, BRG, however you want to put it, you can very quickly adjust the color and the uh, gap and everything is not very hard to do. So go ahead and type everything in and I'll fast forward this part real quick. If you're wondering, my desktop background is my friend Peter being compared to a llama. Don't ask any more questions. Okay, so let's say that I had at some point here messed up and typed something wrong like crosshair outline. I forgot to put an underscore. It'll say that in white text. Don't freak out. It's really easy. Just type over it again. Um, but first of all, this command doesn't even work, at least for me. So it'll say unknown command if you get it right. Uh, the last two, crosshair outline and crosshair outline draw. Um, if they're not working for you, just leave them be. They, they're not going to hurt you. My crosshair works perfectly fine without it. Um, but yeah, you can go back and test this out uh, if you want to. I am going to include a little bit of footage of me using it. Alright, so as you can see here, um, the crosshair works very well. It's so much better than the original one. Um, I can't stress that enough. I love it so much more. Uh, I apologize for the lag when my screen recorder records the desktop and everything upon it at once. It gets a little sketchy, so... Apologize, it's not a gameplay video, and there will probably be not very many gameplay videos of CSGO, if any. But I hope this tutorial helped you. Uh, if you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe for more if you want to see more. Awesome, Mothership out. Thank you, everyone.